Thanks for joining. You know, I was just talking about road trips with a friend of mine. How fun they are. And those cool pit stops you can make, like giant balls of yarn and stuff like that. Have you ever stopped to see something totally strange on a road trip? Only, what if it's a little too strange? Because of language and content, we don't recommend listening where children can hear. And it might be a good idea to turn on a light for this one. Ah, uh, come on, Sammy. Don't be chicken shit. I don't know, Lorenzo. I don't know. Just take the exit and snap a photo of the sign. Why? To prove that you made it out alive. <laughs> Isn't that place abandoned? Uh, yup. It's also haunted. An excess city, two miles. Well, hot damn. Take the exit, Sam. You are so annoying. <laughs> okay, what's in it for me if I drive through there? Hmm. I'll buy us a trip to the drive-in. Oh, God, yes. I miss the movies. But I don't know. I'm still scared. A haunted town? Ghosts and spirits and stuff? Ahem. The internet says Anexa City was abandoned decades ago by the Hollywood elite who used the desert backgrounds for westerns and other genre-related films and TV shows, blah, blah, blah. The town is now a popular body dumping ground. The Sheriff's Department reports upwards of 20 bodies found in the last five years. It is said that the spirits of abandoned corpses haunt the town. Legend also says that the outskirts of Anexa are home to demonic cult members. I do not want to see a dead body. Not after what happened with my roommate. Come on, it's just a legend, a spooky story. Uh, Anexa City, next exit. Do it, Sammy, do it. Uh, fine. But I'm picking the movie, and you're buying candy and popcorn, too. Deal. The road sucks here. I'm bouncing around in the Buick. You know, I never told you how sorry I was about your roommate. Yeah. You're the one who found her, right? You found her dead body? I don't really want to talk about it, Lo. This town is freaking me out enough. Fair. Fuck. I thought you said this town was abandoned. It is. The internet says it is. Anexa City, population two. Population two? Oh, that really freaks me out. Take a picture in front of the sign and then nope it right out of there. Uh, is it too late to turn back? Don't make me start clucking like a chicken. Fine, fine. But I think I could reverse my car and... <laughs> Okay, okay! I'm parking by the sign. Are you walking up to it? Yes, yes. Population two. That is freaky. Totally freaky. Who are the two and where are they? Freaky. Okay, I'm in front of the sign now. Send it to me. Step back more and get the desert in the background. Okay. Ow! Sam? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god! What happened? Sam, are you okay? I just tripped. I fell over a... Uh, uh... Uh, what? An arm. A fucking severed arm. Did you do this, Lo? Did you come here and set this up? You're disgusting! You know I have a thing about seeing dead bodies! Sam, no, I didn't. I'm the one who found her body, and now you're fucking with me? I swear. Oh. Oh, God. What? What's going on? I smell it now. Oh, oh, shit. It smells horrible, like burnt pork. Fuck. 
Sam, are you hurt? Are you okay? Uh, my elbow's bleeding and I hit my face. Is the arm real, Sam? Oh, it's real. Oh my god. It has some kind of weird symbol etched or burned into the side of it. I think I'm going to be sick. Like a satanic symbol? Sam, get to your car and leave. Call the cops. I'll call you back. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Um, there's a severed arm on the side of the road with some weird symbols on it. I don't know whose arm that is or where it came from. Calm down, ma'am. What is your location? I'm in Anexa. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Ma'am, you're gonna have to calm down for me. That arm has been there for days. Sorry. What? <laughs> Hello? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Are the cops coming? No. I don't know. Sam, just drive out of there. Sam. I'm getting to the Buick. I'm in. Are you okay, Sammy? No, I'm not okay. Okay, okay. I just, just calm down. Just tripped breathe. over an arm. You're in the car now. You're safe. Satanic symbols on For it. For now, we don't Why know exactly that was. would I be okay? Just Whose get arm out of was there. that? And then the cop said. Where are you now? I'm still driving out. Oh. Oh God, no. What? I'm I'm driving by the old buildings, and there are symbols written all over them. Like graffiti, but the same symbol over and over. Like the one that was on the arm? Yes, but these look like they're written in blood. Drive faster, Sam. Wait, I see something up ahead. What is it? It's red. It's a car. Stopped in the middle of the highway. That's unusual. Oh my god. Lorenzo, I think there's been some kind of accident. What do you mean? Well, I see a couple people laying in the road. Are they okay? Oh god. I don't know. There are two of them and they're just laying face down in front of the car. I'm slowing down. Why? Well, I think I should get out and see what happened. Well, what are you going to do? Flip one of them over? Check them for a pulse? To see the damage. Uh, I... Never mind. It, something doesn't feel right. I'm just going to get out of here. Sam? What? Maybe you shouldn't have gotten off there. Last time I listened to anything you say, I'm si- <gasps> What? Sam? Sam? They're standing. They're standing. They're fucking standing. The old couple? They're standing. They're... They're coming. Oh, my God. Get out of there. They're coming. Sam? Sam? Thank you for listening to Unhallowed, a Halloween production by Blind Spot Collective. We are a company that is dedicated to producing radically inclusive programming that celebrates new work, emerging artists, diverse audiences, and fresh ideas. Take the Exit was written by Mary Catherine Lopez and features Carlos Angel Bajadas and Shalina Hefner. A special thanks to Jack Mason, Brazi, Blake McCarty, and Shalina Hefner for making this project possible. If you'd like to learn more about Blind Spot Collective and our work, check out blindspotcollective.org or follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Happy Halloween!